بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم We start with a tafsir or a commentary on Surah Yasin Point number one, it is Makki, it was revealed in Makkah And this tells us a lot about the way we engage the Surah Remember these are the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's own people and they didn't believe him. So he still had to convince them that he was a prophet. And this was a huge task. Imagine you had to tell people, if you don't follow me, then you are going to end up astray. Remember also that during this Meccan period, no fiqh or hardly any fiqh was revealed. Hardly any fiqh whatsoever, with the exception of perhaps two salat in the morning and the evening. Fiqh started in the second year in Medina. All the verses speaking about nifaq, hypocrisy, is madani. Why? There were no munafiqeen really in, in Makkah to deal with. In Makkah they boycotted him. They tried to assassinate him, to kill him. But they didn't pretend to believe. They weren't munafiqoon. None of them were over there. The Medinan surahs, those revealed in Medina, are more, are more relaxed in rhythm, while the Meccan surahs have a shorter force in the pace. So we see that the pace in the Quran, the, the, the beginning, the longer surahs, longer, getting shorter, 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 and to the end, the pace increases. Now, some of the Mufassirin say that the Quran has been arranged for us the way it has been arranged for us is from longer to the very shortest surah. Because as you progress, it gets shorter. And in this way, it mimics the life of a human being. Earlier, time is irrelevant. Things last forever. And as you get older, the nature of things is that it seems that time is speeding up, but it is in fact not speeding up. You are just getting busier and busier. Now this surah, Surah Yasin, has three major themes. The surah has three major themes. Number one, Al-Imanu Bil-Ba'thi Wal-Nushur. The, the, the belief in the resurrection and the herding from the place of resurrection to a mahshar, to a mawqif, to a specific place. Number two, Waqissatu Ahli Al-Qarya. A beautiful story of, of the people of a certain town. And uh, it's most of them of us here say it's an an Antakya, but Antalya, but we'll we'll get to that later. And number three, um, the clear proofs of the Qudra wa Wahdaniya of Allah, the clear proofs of the omnipotence and the power of Allah, and His Wahdaniya, His uniqueness, fi kawni al in the entire created order, the cosmos. And number four. It is a comfort to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and rightfully so. He didn't have an easy time and we need to understand this that wahi and revelation and prophethood is not something merry and, and easy and just going by. It is something very difficult. All he did was tell them to say La ilaha illallah and they scorned him, they hounded him, they humiliated him. In fact, they stoned him to the ground in Ta'if. And he cried, and they picked him up and stoned him again. And not too long after that, his wife Khadija, radiallahu anha, passed away. She died after they boycotted him due to stress. And then his uncle died, and he saw children dying around him, and his children in fact died. This man had to look at, at, at all of this, people dying around him because of his risala, a risala, a message he came with. So try and put yourself in his place and ask yourself, how would you have coped? It's a tough job. To be a prophet is not easy. They lose their homes, their family, they are rejected. He was barred from entering Makkah for three days. They left him outside Makkah. Both Makkah and Medina were walled cities. There was a wall around each city in those days. And number five, then it takes you through the earth and the sky and its beauty, which we will tap into. How are we, of, are we then 
of this world? Or are we dominated by our humum and humum, our worries and our stresses every day? When last did you look out the window and notice, for example, the birds chirping as a symbol of Allah's beauty? When last did you look out at the sky and look at Allah's beauty and the clouds and His nur and His light? Have you ever noticed that the name of Allah is enshrined in every tree? Look at a tree and look at the word Allah carved into its branches. It reminds us through this dunya of, his, of the beauty of Allah Ta'ala. And that we will meet him one day. Because death is what gives real life after this life. It has more meaning. Death is what gives life more meaning, in fact. And it ends off with the mawdu al-asasi, the foundational themes. The surah ends off again with the foundational themes, the ba'ath, the resurrection, and the jaza. So, um, may Allah bless us in our journey as we traverse through this amazing surah, surah Yasin. Wa salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wa sallim. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.